Hello guys, Joe with Smoky Joe's Pit Barbecue. Today, I am making some Carolina style pulled pork, so stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. So as I mentioned, I am gonna make some pulled pork today. And what I've got here is I've got the two eight pound pork shoulders. And on one of these, I'm gonna use a vinegar based barbecue sauce. And I have always wanted to try a pork shoulder with some vinegar based barbecue sauce and I was uh, thinking of making my own. I even had a subscriber send me a recipe to his uh, vinegar based barbecue sauce or Carolina style sauce. But then I get an email from Doug Morgan from um, Carolina Q sauces and he said, hey, let me send you some. So Doug, I want to thank you for sending me these, uh, these sauces and I can't wait to try it. So I am going to use his Eastern North Carolina vinegar sauce. On these on one of these pork shoulders so in a traditional North Carolina or Carolina style pulled pork they will shred the pulled pork and then put some of the sauce in there and get it nice and wet I won't be doing that um, in fact I'm gonna use a sauce to baste my pork shoulder and uh, that's gonna still give it a really good color a really good flavor as well on one of these I'm just gonna use a couple of rubs and, and do it Texas style just dry and I'm gonna see the difference, see if the bark is different, see if the flavor, if I like the uh, Carolina style uh, flavor better than the traditional Texas style pork, uh, uh, pulled pork. So guys, when you buy your pulled pork, you almost always get these uh, pork shoulders with this heavy fat cap on them. And a lot of people may like to get fancy with them and cut these nice cross hatches on the fat. I'm not gonna do that. And I'll tell you the reason why. I'm going to remove all of this fat here and just do a very light trimming, but I'm going to remove the majority of this fat cap. The reason I'm going to do that is because I want to apply enough rub to these shoulders and get maximum bark. What happens when you put your rubs on this fat and you smoke them, whether you do it in the smoker or you do it in the oven, a lot of people take this fat off. And so you're throwing all your rubs you know, your five, six hours of smoke, that, that good bark that you worked so hard to get, you're taking it off and you're throwing it in the trash. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take the fat off and get enough rubs on the meat, save all that good bark uh, and, and smoky flavor on these shoulders. So I'm gonna trim these guys. I'm gonna trim the fat cap off of these, the majority of it, give it a light trimming, and I'll bring you guys back, so stay tuned. All right guys, we are back, and I've got my uh, pork shoulders trimmed up. I just popped the, uh, this bottle, I shook it real good. I want to taste it. it. smells amazing, by the way. I want to give this a taste. Oh. That's going to be delicious. Good vinegar flavor, smoky flavor. This is going to be good, guys. So. The rubs I'm gonna to use today, guys, are two rubs from Victory Lane Barbecue, the Sweet Barbecue Rub, and the second rub, man, that sauce is good. The second rub is gonna be the Sassy Apple. So the first rub that I'm gonna use is the Sweet Barbecue Rub on my pork shoulders. I'm just gonna do one here for you guys, or just the top side of it, just so you guys can see that process. Put enough of this, guys. This is a big chunk of meat, so don't be afraid to, to put enough of this rub on there. This sweet barbecue rub from Victory Lane um, has a really dark uh, reddish color to it. And it's going to give this uh, pork shoulders a really nice color. And then the second rub I'm going to use is a sassy apple rub. This is a little bit sweeter. has a good taste of apple on it. And again, just give this a good, I mean, pretty much cover the entire uh, pork shoulder here. Now, because these rubs which I absolutely love. Um, they're not terribly salty. And I know these rubs, because I use them all the time. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt on top of this shoulder. Okay, again, because it's a big piece of meat, guys. And just add a little bit of salt, just like that. And then pat it down, because I'm gonna be moving this and I'm gonna rub the, the back side of it or the bottom side, the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and get both of these rubs the exact same way and I'll bring you guys back. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've got my pork shoulders completely rubbed down. 
with the Victory Lane Sweet Barbecue Rub and their Sassy Apple Barbecue Rub. And this smells amazing just sitting here. Um, I will be smoking these in my Yoder Pellet Grill on the top shelf at 250 degrees for two hours. And at 250 degrees for two hours, these pork shoulders are going to get some really good smoke flavor on top of them. Um, after that, I'm going to crank the temperature up to 275 degrees. Uh, wait till I get a nice spark on the outside. And at that point, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them with some of the Victory Lane uh, Butter Bath mixed in with some uh, pineapple juice. And again, I, I mentioned earlier that I'm going to make a sriracha coleslaw to put on top of that nice hot pulled pork. But uh, I'm going to go outside, get my smoker ready, let these rest for 20 minutes, and I'll bring you guys outside with me. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we are outside at the smoker, and I got my temperature set at 250 degrees. And uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Again, I'm putting them on the top shelf, 250 degrees for two hours and it's going to get a nice smoke flavor on it and uh, I will not be spritzing I want to get a nice crust on that uh, pork shoulder on both pork shoulders again on this one over here to the right of me is the one that I'm going to use the vinegar uh, based Carolina style barbecue sauce the other one I'm just going to let it run with the rubs so we'll check in about uh, two hours and at that point I'm going to crank the temperature up to 275 degrees so stay tuned all right guys, welcome back. We are back inside the house and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my sriracha uh, flavored coleslaw. Got one bag of coleslaw a mix. It's a 16 ounce bag, so about a pound. And I'm just going to dump this into a bowl that you see here. And this is a cabbage uh, coleslaw, which most of your cabbage, or most of your coleslaw is made out of uh, cabbage. This has carrots as well a little bit of carrots and uh, red cabbage as you can see here so to this mixture the, the first thing I'm going to add is a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar okay it's going to complement the uh, pork shoulder for sure and at that point I'm going to add half a cup of mayonnaise to start I don't like my coleslaw extremely watery guys because then your bread gets all soggy and I'm not, I'm not trying to create a soggy sandwich for sure so half a cup of mayo just like so and I will add some if it's not the consistency that I want then I've got about a cup of chopped parsley uh, this was fresh parsley that I just chopped up okay really simple ingredients then I'm going to get half of a lemon and go ahead and squeeze that into my coleslaw. Try to capture all the seeds. Just like that. That's going to give the coleslaw a really nice citrusy flavor. Also add just a pinch of pepper, just like so. And the star of the show, a little bit of sriracha. Just sprinkle some in just like this. And then go ahead and give it a good mix. And if it's not the consistency that I want, I can add a little bit more mayonnaise, which I can tell you right now that we are going to have to add well, let's just mix this up. We'll see what we got. Yeah, I'm going to add, definitely add, but another half a cup of mayonnaise. I got some parsley chunks in my mayo now. There we go. So, so far, we're at one cup of mayonnaise. bit more sriracha as well get some color into this oh yeah there we go okay so I'm gonna mix this up and let it rest up in my fridge probably for four hours before I even use it so oh this smells amazing guys wish you could see this and again it's not extremely uh, watery like a lot of coleslaw is 
this has a really nice uh, consistency so we'll be back in about a couple hours guys stay tuned all right guys we are back and it's been two hours uh, since I put the shoulders in I just started basting these shoulders and the uh, rub was already set this is a really thin sauce guys as you can see here and the uh, shoulders absorbing some of the sauce which is what I wanted to do so just basting a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and crank my temperature up to 275 degrees and uh, we'll check back in about uh, about an hour and a half so stay tuned guys again the left shoulder the uh, left uh, pork shoulder I am not going to put any of this uh, Carolina barbecue sauce on it look at that nice and thin sauce I'm just going to let it run uh, in the smoke with the victory lane rub so we'll see you guys in about an hour and a half stay tuned all right guys just wanted to show you that I am going to spray a little bit of water on the pork shoulder on the left over here just so it doesn't dry up too much it's just plain old water in a bottle just like that look at that shoulder on the right side oh man it's got a nice color to it both of them have a real nice uh, color to it but the one that I added the sauce to it's got a man real nice red color and the smell out here is amazing guys so again we'll be back in about an hour and a half so stay tuned all right guys we are back and the shoulders have been smoking for a total of four hours now let's take a look at these oh my goodness so the shoulder on the right side is the one that I'm basing with the Carolina Q barbecue sauce and the one on the left just has the rubs and I've been spritzing with water both of them look really good but look at how shiny this looks that looks amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these guys the one on the left side I'm going to wrap in foil with some Victory Lane Butter Bath. And the one on the right side, I'm also going to wrap in foil with some of the Carolina Q Vinegar Base Barbecue Sauce. That looks amazing. Um, once I wrap them, I am going to put the fat cap or the fat side on the bottom side. And uh, we're going to smoke them for about two hours. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So the pork shoulders are ready. And the total cook time was seven hours. And uh, they smell and look amazing. This one here on my left is the one that I use the Carolina uh, vinegar sauce. Again, this is from Carolina Q. Uh, and it smells amazing, guys. I, I pinched off a piece of meat already. I cheated. And it tastes awesome. Both of them taste really, really, really good. So, again, these pork shoulders are ready, guys. Look at the bone. just The blade just comes right off. Okay. And this one should as well. Oh, yeah. This is where some of the best meat is at, guys. Right here on this horn of the uh, pork shoulders. So to make my sandwiches, guys, to make this comparison, I'm just going to grab some of this right here, some of this from the top, just like this, and I'm just going to shred it by hand. I want some of this, some of this bark right here, uh, get some from this horn. Again, this is the one with just the Victory Lane rubs, so I'm just going to shred it like this in my hands and uh, make sure I got enough of that bark on there. Put that right there. That's going to go on one sandwich. I can do a comparison. And then here's the Carolina Q. This one was, was basic, guys. I basted this uh, pork shoulder the entire cook. And when I wrapped it, um, I went ahead and put some more of the Carolina vinegar base sauce inside the foil. So just break it up like this, guys. Yeah, man, it falls apart really, really easy. So I'm just going to put this right here. And... I'm going to taste some of this, a good piece, and let you guys know what I think here. Let me see. Here. There we go. Just this piece here. Nice bark. Mmm. Good smoky flavor. The rubs are nice and sweet. You can taste that, uh, I don't know if it's paprika. This is the one with the uh, Carolina Q sauce. Hmm. Tangy. Good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Alright, guys. I'm going to put these sandwiches together. Back the camera up. And uh, we're going to give this a taste test. Stay tuned. Alright, guys. We are back. And the sandwiches are put together here. And I wasn't going to put any of the sauce into my pulled pork. 
but I think to be fair, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put a little bit of this sauce onto my sandwich here, into the, into the meat. It tastes so good, guys, that I, I decided I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the sauce on there. So, to that, here's my homemade coleslaw, my sriracha coleslaw. And it, it uh, looks amazing, guys, and it smells delicious. So I'm just going to grab a spoonful, put that on my sandwich, just like this. Oh, yeah. That's going to have a good, crunchy uh, texture to it. Not, uh, not too spicy, because I didn't put a whole lot of sriracha, but it's going to give it a good flavor. And again, this is the one with just the Victory Lane rubs by themselves, with no sauce. Put a little bit more on this one. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good, guys. Just piling it on there. So, guys, I'm going to back the camera up. And we're going to give this a taste test, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back, and my sandwiches are put together, and it's time to dig in. This one here on the right side is the one with the Carolina vinegar-based barbecue sauce, and then this one is just, again, the Victory Lane rubs by themselves, no sauce. So we're going to give this a shot and um, see what I think. This is a monster sandwich, guys. I'm just going to smash it down. Look at this. Ooh, baby. It's, oh man, I'm losing my sandwich here. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That tangy sauce. Amazing flavor. That coleslaw that I that I made up is really really good and again I put some vinegar in that some apple cider vinegar that's got a good kick to it too I think the meat the vinegar and the meat the vinegar and the coleslaw complement each other very very well and the sriracha sauce is not really spicy so let's give uh, the good old Texas style pulled pork a try there we go That's good too. Mmm. Really, really tasty. This is the pulled pork that I'm used to. I gotta tell you that there is a significant taste difference on the pulled pork with no sauce and the one with sauce. And I've never been a sauce guy, a heavy barbecue sauce guy. But this Carolina Q Eastern North Carolina vinegar sauce. <laughs> this meat, this sandwich by far is better. The rubs, guys, you get a good smoky flavor from the rubs. I think that's coming off of the paprika. A little bit of sweetness from the sassy apple rub as well. Again, from Victory Lane Barbecue. They're both really good. But I am digging this sandwich guys this is amazing try that uh, that homemade sriracha coleslaw get you some of this uh, vinegar sauce from Carolina Q uh, Doug again appreciate you sending me this it is really really good can't wait to try your other two sauces guys I hope you like this video uh, leave any comments you guys may have down below hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and give me a thumbs up if you like this video until next time Joe is smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue see ya